hello everyone so now let's do one more mini project in this one we are going to learn how we can add the vlan in the trunk and how we can remove because some guys are facing the issue in the real scenario also some guys are doing the silly mistake i will teach here because uh, when they are doing the troubleshooting some of the students who are facing this issue like when they are doing the troubleshooting they notice that some vlan block in the trunk port they are just allowing allowing all that is allowing all the vlan or sometime they are just uh, saying that allow vlan that vlan example vlan 20 they are saying allow vlan 20 so th that means only that vlan is allow all other remaining vlan will be removed so you need to be very careful for this one let me show you example this is a switch okay this is the i think this is the brand new switch let me see the configuration here let me write show run okay section trunk let me check do do we have trunk yes here in this switch we have the trunk let me write show interface trunk with this command we check if you see here if you see here what we have this is the interface that is fast ethernet 0 by 0 is in trunk okay this interface in trunk if you see encapsulation we are using 802.1q and only vlan 20 is allow here okay only vlan 20 is allow in this switch and if we see here one more thing show vlan brief if you check here we have the vlan 10 and vlan 20 we have two vlan here and this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 this interface is in the vlan 10 okay now let me check the second uh, switch also because i want to show you the scenario one scenario so let me check here i think nothing is present in this switch show interface trunk okay nothing is here here all vlan allow okay from this to this all are allow anyhow i can show with this switch only if you see here when you write show interface trunk when you write show interface trunk you can see only vlan 20 is allow so all vlan 20 traffic all vlan 20 traffic from the switch 1 will go to the switch 2 okay all the vlan 20 traffic will go from switch 1 to switch 2 vlan 10 traffic will not go because here vlan 10 is not allow here vlan 10 is not allow so you are doing the troubleshooting later you notice that here only vlan 20 is allow that's why these guys are unable to communicate this guy are in the vlan 10 and this guys are in the vlan 10 but this trunk port is allowing only vlan 20 that's why they are unable to communicate so your manager told you to allow the vlan 10 here so you will do so many procedure i will show you because some guys are doing some incorrect configuration let me show you what we will do example that guy go to the configuration then they will write here interface which interface they want to allow this interface fast ethernet 0 by 2 so this is a fast ethernet 0 by 2 after that he will write switch port trunk okay switch port trunk question mark you can see here allowed okay allowed if you put question mark you can give the vlan vlan after that if you put the question mark they are asking you can add or you can write all or accept or none or remove so generally what they are doing here they are writing all all means it will allow all the vlan maybe for the security purpose not all vlans are allow some vlans allow some vlans did not allow if you want to add here example if you want to add vlan 10 here okay so then you need to use the keyword add don't use all or directly if you write here vlan 10 vlan 20 will be removed from this port only vlan 10 will come that is not a good good practice the communication whatever is going on through vlan 20 that will be stop okay so be careful because some of the guy face this issue in the real scenario so you need to be very careful when you are allowing any vlan when you want to add any vlan you need to use the keyword add don't do all or don't do directly like vlan 10 if you do directly vlan 10 then vlan whatever other vlan is there that will be remove and only vlan will be there okay let me show you here if you check here just now what we check let me show you just now if you see here 
here only vlan 20 is allowed okay now what i am doing i am writing here switch port trunk allowed vlan and here if you see i can write here the 10 okay i wrote vlan 10 this is not correct way the just now what i wrote this is not the correct way when i wrote like this they will remove the vlan 20 and they will add the vlan 10 they will remove vlan 20 and they will add vlan 10 if you want i will show you okay if you want you i will show you do show interface trunk okay you see here what happened vlan 20 remove vlan 10 came in now so this is not a correct way example if you are working in the real scenario you are working in the production network some traffic is going on through the vlan 20 if you do this silly mistake then all the traffic whatever is going from vlan 20 will be struck it will stop it will not pass the trunk port then you will have the lot of issue so be careful when you are doing this configuration you should not use vlan 10 you should write vlan add and then you can add that one if you add whatever old vlan is there that will also there and also whatever you are adding new new vlan that will also come so be careful when you are configuring this way don't put all also if you put all all the vlan whatever is available in the network that all will be allow maybe for the security purpose you did not allow so don't do all also and don't change directly number if you change directly this is not a correct way you change here before it is 20 it should come 20 comma 10 but now what it came 10 okay example let me show you here again i put here 20 like this and now again you check you remove the 10 and 20 came see you remove the 10 now 20 came you need to come you need to make here 10 comma 20 both so how we will do in that scenario you need to do here this way you write here then you will write the keyword add okay you write the keyword add after that you give the number what you need to add you need to add 10 so you add the vlan 10 okay here you need to remember what we done here we wrote the keyword add okay this is a common command switch port trunk allow vlan and don't give the vlan number if you give the vlan number directly it will remove whatever vlan available here and it will add directly this one only here but you need to keep the old vlan okay you need to keep the old vlan and after that you need to add the new one then use this keyword okay so what i done i wrote here vlan 10 okay so now if you check you will have both if you see here we have the both now what we have we have the 10 comma 20 so this both vlan allow okay so this is very important very carefully observe this one because some guys face this issue in the production network this is very critical if you uh, delete the existing vlan and add something different vlan it will be very critical so don't forget to use this word add okay or if your manager asks you to remove the vlan 20 how we will remove same thing we will write here switch port okay let me write here switch port trunk allowed vlan and then keyword remove okay remove and re give the number 20 now it will remove how we will check do show interface trunk okay if you see i remove that one so this way we need to do what i done same command switch port trunk allow vlan and use the keyword you need to add you need to remove or what you need to if you want to allow all the vlan use all so all vlan will allow here okay so this is a important part you need to remember carefully observe when you are doing the this configuration in the production environment okay production environment be careful with this one i hope this is clear for you here what we can do here you can put this in the vlan 20 vlan 20 send the vlan traffic and add the vlan 10 and you can play with this one i wrote here configuration how we can add and how we can remove I hope this is clear for you. In case if you face any issue, we already give in the description of our Instagram page. Follow the Instagram and message us. We will going to reply you. You can talk us with the Instagram. Okay. In case if you have any issue, we can support you. Okay. Thank you. 